Well, as we come to our communion time right now, I want us to think for a few moments about the power of unity, about how beautiful it is. I want us to ponder on the fact that there is Father, Son and Spirit, three persons but one God, perfect unity, perfect community, you could say. So, I want to say to us today that it is so important that we think in terms of the beauty of being a one people under one God. What a miracle that is. One people under one God. Let me read to you Psalm 133, which is not unfamiliar. How good and pleasant it is when brothers live together in unity. It is like precious oil poured on the head, running down on the beard, running down on Aaron's beard, down upon the collar of his robes. It is as if the dew of Hermon were falling on Mount Zion, for there the Lord bestows his blessing, even life forevermore. Graphic images. Mount Hermon, obviously pretty much generally a dry place, but then suddenly the Jews come and the Jew is moving and pouring forth, fertilising and making green all the areas around it. And the oil, of course, to do with Aaron, the priest, oil, anointing oil, the Holy Spirit as a symbol of being poured out dripping down. That's the kind of thing that comes with true unity. And today, let us be a people who love our God together. Come, let us exalt his name together, for he is great and greatly to be praised. Let's take our communion together, shall we? On the night Jesus betrayed, he took bread and he broke it and said, This is my body broken for you. Eat this in memory of me. And as we do this, let us remember we're doing it with many other people, all at the same time, our brothers and sisters in Christ. One people under one God. On that same night he was betrayed, he took the cup, which was full of wine. He said, drink this in remembrance of me, for it symbolises his shed blood for our sins, our wrongdoings, so that we could know the living God. Hallelujah. Let us drink this also in remembrance, proclaiming his death until he comes, proclaiming that through him we do have indeed true unity. Amen. Thank you, Father, for your great gift to us through your Son, Thank you that he is a limitless God, the God-man Jesus Christ. We are grateful to you and we will praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Come, let us exalt his name together. God bless you and I'll see you soon. Amen.